Good morning. Today we are going to propagate some colocasia seeds. Uh, this is the white lava seeds. Uh, a bunch, uh, hundreds of them. Now I will be using peat moss, putting in a tray that has a bunch of drainage holes. Just pure peat moss. You can use sphagnum, you can use cocoa peat, cocoa coir. Uh, I have peat moss, so I'll use peat moss. And we're gonna prepare the peat moss firstly with uh, this is Fison 20 with just mixing with the water. And then just soak your peat moss. So good to prevent uh, the fungus. Nah. Now you spray this until you see the water dripping out from the bottom. Okay, you spray your uh, your peat moss until it's dripping down. That means it's fully soaked and. Uh, that would be it. As you can see, uh, it's dripping a lot. That means the water is uh, fully soaked with the uh, peat moss. You could use this kind of tray to plant individual seeds, but uh, that's not my thing. It takes too much time and I have tried it with uh, lettuces and it doesn't work out well uh, comparing to this method. Just using a tray and then uh, just drop a bunch of seeds, sprinkle it on. Now these these seeds, the white lava seeds, um, I soak them in root booster and then I will just pour it down because that's really hard if I'm going to pick them one by one. Now if any of you has uh, some nets that are small enough to strain it uh, please do but I I don't have anything like that so I would just pour it onto the to the planting medium here trying to be gentle so I don't make a, a huge um, hole And there is still quite a bunch in there. Uh, I'll try to scoop it out with my fingers. Now at the moment the colocasia craze over here in Thailand is about hybrid colocasia. People seem to like it more. They have something new to to look at, to buy. And Propagating seeds is is one way to get those uh, mutated hybrid colocasia. Now over here are the colocasia seeds uh, that has been propagated for a bit over a week. As you can see, they shoots up already, and there <laughs> it's in one clump. I didn't. Yeah, I do quite the same method. This is what happened but these here are a bit more separated a bit more uh it'll it shouldn't be coming out in a clump like this or maybe the rest just didn't uh just didn't made it that's all that's make it not all the seeds gonna be uh thriving so i would say 50 40 percent depending on uh the age of your seeds and how you store them and the way I do it here, I, I don't uh, wrap it with anything. I just leave it here under some uh, plant shade or your garage shade. That's fine um, because the weather here and the, the humidity here is uh, certainly okay. It's, it's very hot and, and humid, so I don't need to wrap. But if you live in a colder climate, uh, 
I would recommend you maybe get a cling film. You could wrap it or you have a, some kind of container, something like this box. And you could just place it in just like that. These are also uh, my Queen of Phoenix propagation. They survive, no problem. So that will be it. You could leave it out or you could put it in here. I'm, I'm not gonna be around home. So I will put it in the box just for safety for my dogs. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.